This week on Work for Avocados, I am testing out a product that claims to minimize experiences like that from happening. We are doing the Shark Wheel Review. This is a completely unbiased review and giving you guys my honest feedback on a company that is making some pretty bold claims, some of them specific to surf skating, and I'm gonna tell you guys if these are worth your time or if it's just another product and a long line of gimmicks. Now at first glance, you can see these things are super trippy. They look like a collaboration between Salvador Dali and Santa Cruz. And when they roll, they kind of have this weird squarish appearance. On the website, it claims these are based off of a sine wave. I failed science. I'm not gonna tell you that I knew that off of the bat, but uh, some of the other claims that they're making are that they last longer than normal wheels. They go over things way easier. They go faster. They have better slide control. And apparently, they also work better in wet conditions than normal wheels. Shark Wheel has not provided any product in exchange for this video, so rest assured you guys are getting my complete unbiased feedback. Uh, these things are, they've been a mixed bag, I won't lie. Uh, when I first got them, I was not a big fan, but I gave it a week of trying, and I'm going to give you guys my field test results. We did a flat ground test, we did a skate park test. And I even watered my driveway and I did a wet ground test. If this is your first time here, Work for Avocados is a channel all about surfing, skating, and being stoked on the small stuff. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because not only are you supporting me, but it's helping support you guys by being able to fund purchases like this so I can give you guys my honest truth feedback on it. Now, as a surf skater, I'm someone constantly going through mixed terrain. Sometimes I'm warming up in a crappy parking lot before I go paddle out, and other times I'm heading to the park, hit the bowls, and to do some slides on the ramps. Normally, I have to alternate my setup between these two. For the roads, I want something smaller and bigger to go over debris and to maintain speed easier. And then at the parks, I want something smaller and harder where I can really get those back wheels out and slide easier. If what this company is saying is true, then it's gonna minimize my quiver and give me a two for one experience. It sounds like a dream. We're gonna find out if that's the case. So you guys are gonna wanna stick around and not miss this one. It has not been paved in God knows how long. You can see it, look at this. It's all loose, it's all rough. What, uh, what do you think about these? Dude, they're pretty wild. That's what I think, that's for sure. Man, I mean, like, just looking at the design, like that just looks crazy. Like, <laughs> just like. It's like looking at a, um, like an air conditioning unit where it's moving so fast that it looks like it's moving slow almost. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with these. These are really going through a lot of this loose gravel, not really feeling a change in the terrain. So as long as I'm having speed, it seems to be pushing through. Uh, so loose gravel, it's a win so far. This road is really rough, so it is hard to get speed going. You know, I can't ask for miracles. They don't have an engine in these. Definitely a cloud, like he said. Can't even tell that I'm on a board. Nice. Our next test, what we're gonna do, we have a notorious rock, the notorious R-O-C-K, and uh, we're gonna try to, well, I'm gonna try to run it over. I wouldn't ask Chris to do that. But uh, for you guys, I will risk bodily harm. So we're gonna put this here. So that honestly went over that rock like it was nothing. I really didn't even notice. Uh, I didn't feel it. I actually just heard it skipping along. So uh, that's plus, not to say that it's gonna go over every rock, but it's pretty impressive. I am a little surprised that there's like this little plastic bits uh, coming off of it. I'm gonna keep pushing it to the test, but uh, maybe it's just the, uh, I don't know what to say about that might be the initial little things possibly possibly
All right, shark wheels part two. We're doing the ramp test now. Still at it, ain't gonna stop. So riding these up here on the, in the bowl and on the coping, as you're coming over and you're doing grinds, it almost feels like everything is cool coping. There's like this vibration that comes when you're rolling over it. Uh, well, it's a weird shaped wheel, so I guess that's what to expect. But uh, it feels a little bit more unstable on the ramps, I would say. As you can see, I took a stupid fall. Uh, it hurt a lot. Sometimes I hang up on front side, so I don't want to just hold out on that, but I definitely got held up on the shape of the wheel by not going fast enough. At least that's what maybe I can imagine that's what it was. I don't know if it was the shape or the speed, but yeah, that was a, that was a doozy, but I like the feel of it. I like the, the sound that it makes when you're coming over the coping with the vibration on these wheels, but I don't really know how uh, useful or practical that is it just might not be for it. I guess on something that might have a lot of cracks It could be really good. I like doing carve grinds on them. I feel like it's going around it really easily But uh, the grinding aspect uh, I don't know. I'm not sure So next up we got the slide test. We're gonna try to do some power slides over here on this bank So a few more thoughts on these wheels. I feel like I'm having to relearn how to skate with these. Like I feel when I'm going for my grinds, especially when you only have two wheels on it as opposed to four, you really have to like sit on the back more and you have to be more patient with your lines. Some things it seems a lot easier. Like when you're doing carve grinds around the corner, I'd say slides do seem a little easier in the pocket. Uh, I don't know if that's just buyer's remorse, but um, I could see how as long as all four wheels are on it and moving continuously, then some things are easier. Some things that do seem harder, like I said, if you have two wheels on, two wheels off, something like that, then just the motion of getting some of those wheels restarted again while some of them are moving forward, I feel the chance for clipping is a lot higher. Some things I'm like worried about as I go for them because they just feel so weird. and. I don't really want to relearn how to skate whenever I get a set of wheels. So another claim that Shark Wheels makes is that their wheels work better in wet conditions and that you don't slip out as much on the water and they provide better controlled slides. At the suggestion of a fellow YouTuber, Mark the Landlock Surfer, he suggested that I try the Shark Wheels out on a wet downhill road. Unfortunately, we're in Florida, there are no hills, so we're gonna do the next best thing. We're gonna water the driveway and we're gonna put these to the test. That was actually really fun. I don't know if you noticed, but in those slow motion clips, 
the back wheels actually continued to spin instead of locking up like normal wheels would on a slide they continue to roll which is pretty cool uh, in a slow-mo it almost looks like i'm just doing like a car more than an actual slide but i was actually sliding um, i felt like i had a ton of control and i was able to control how much of the arc i was ready to push forward and ready to snap back so that was a pleasant surprise i'm gonna be honest with you guys these wheels have been a pretty mixed bag for me the first few days that i got them i hated them i was not liking them at all could be a little bit biased because i went to do a front 50 50 and i just slammed on the pavement really hard this is like a few days later uh that's like four or five days later but um you gotta pay to play sometimes so in my mind i was like these things are trash i'm really not big on them but you know it's like a lot of things in board sports or extreme sports not every piece of equipment is going to be for every single scenario these definitely have a place in your bag I won't say that it's going to be like an everyday rider, but there's definitely going to be environments and scenarios where you're going to want a little less vibration while you're riding. You're going to have a smoother ride. And I can't say that I enjoy these as far as coping slides, but as far as bank slides, I will say that they were a lot easier to slide. Well guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. Leave a comment below on what you think of the shark wheels or if you've had any experiences with them in the past. I'd love to hear your story. I put a ton of time into making this video, so do me a massive favor. Please, please, please press that like and subscribe button. It really does help me out. Uh, I'm about to catch some much needed surf because I've been working on this video for so long. Cashew's loving the summertime. Water's finally warming up. We're getting out there. There's a little longboard wave out there, so I am stoked. I hope you guys stay stoked, and I will see you next time. Work for avocados.